can do one thing we can uh, create an and gate using an and gate all right so uh, that's what we are going to do so here is our nand gate and here is the nand gate symbol so first of all i will create a new new view and i am going to choose the library as nand okay not shift register the nand library okay you can uh, see the video of how to create a nand gate symbol to get this nand gate and uh, the cell should be uh, and because we are creating and gate uh, from and gate so i have named it as and okay so here is a nand gate and i am going to get an instance here so there is a nand gate okay and there are the schemat they are these are the inputs that is a and b and here after the input we need to add the inverter so here is the inverter and here is the inverter symbol okay so let's see this is the symbol all right so we will go back to our nand gate and we are going to add the inverter symbol so this is the nand gate and this is there is the inverter and here is the inverter symbol this we are going to add after the nand gate all right so now we have added a nand gate a nand gate and a inverter all right so you can see this is our and gate and here i will just add the input ports it is the first input port i will name it as a this is the second input port i am going to name it as b and this is the output port that let's name it as y and we need to add ground and vdd all right so you can see uh, after making the symbol how easy it is to create the circuit so here it is the ground here it is another ground and finally the vdd all right so this is the vdd now after that we just need to add the sources there is a vdd first of all we will be adding vdc so here uh, in the sources there is vdc so basically we don't need to add i'm just uh, adding so that i will be able to run and simulate this and gate so we will make sure that our and gate is working correctly all right so the next thing i'm going to copy this similarly i'm going to copy the ground and now i am going to add some plots all right so for the voltage print plot and there are these voltage prints for the first of all for the input and finally for the output and one more thing is remaining that is the sources uh, for the inputs all right so we will be using vbit here and yeah this is our v bit here and this is the another v bit all right so here is our ground i am going to copy this this is the ground and again i am going to copy it yeah so i hope our circuit is made correct so we have made the circuit of and gate now let's uh, test and run the circuit so first of all i have saved the circuit here there is for one and gate and then there is an inverter so we will get the final and gate all right so i need to set up the simulation first since we have created a new library okay we will be doing transient analysis let's say stop time is I need to include the library files. So here you can find your library file, and don't forget to add space tt at the end. Okay, so 
So now we have set up the spice simulation, save the design once again and let's start the simulation. And let's see if our design is working correctly or not. Well, it seems our simulation is running and we have some plot as well. So let's see. All right. So you see when both the inputs are one, the output is one. When both the inputs are zero, the output is zero. That is our AND gate is working correctly. All right. Uh, let's change the bit value of VBIT. Okay. Let's change this pattern. So I will make it. Let's uh, run it one again and see for the other combinations if it is working fine or not. Alright, so we have our graph and we can see okay, yeah. So when the both the inputs are one, the output is one. When any of the input is zero, the output is zero. And uh, we can see again when both the inputs are one, the output is one. So our design is working perfectly fine. Alright. So uh, this is how we can create the schematic, uh, create a symbol of an AND gate using NAND gates. Now uh, we are going to create uh, this create this thing this schematic as a final symbol see this is also a schematic uh, for the AND gate so now we need to create the symbol for this so we will remove these these sources all right these were just to check if our uh, circuit was correctly working or not so we are going to remove these now i am going to save this schematic and now i am going to create a symbol so go to cell generate symbol. So keep the things as default. Keep the things as default. All right. And just click replace. So here we can see we have our symbol that is this and symbol. All right. So now go to cell create a new view and in the library okay first of all just save this so the symbol is saved so i will just uh, keep this video till here that is uh, this video will be for how to create a, a and gate using the nand gate symbol all right nand gate and inverter symbol we have created an and gate so i'm going to keep this video till here and uh, from in the next video we are going to uh, make the circuit for the mux and uh, what we'll do instead of using the gates you will directly use the mosfets to create the uh, create the mux all right so this is all for this video see you guys in the next video